You're right, guys, how you all doing? And welcome to my first episode of the FIFA 15 career mode. And as you can see, we are going to be picking Udinese. We're going to be uh, doing legendary difficulty. But the reason we're picking Udinese is, I think that's how you say the name anyway. I might be saying it wrong. Uh, is because they had a pretty poor season in real life. I'm not sure if the season's actually finished in Serie A, but I think last time I checked, they were 16th in the league. So it's not the best. But let's just get straight into it. Uh, the board comes straight in and said they want us to get it to the round of 16 in the domestic cup. They want us to get a striker and they also want us to try and finish a mid-table in the campaign this season. And here is the squad which we are working with to start with. Uh, we do have a decent squad to be honest. I think we could push a bit higher than uh, mid-table. Obviously we have Scuffett who's one of the best goalkeepers. Um, we got got a lot of players on loan and a lot of the players on loan have very good stats so I may be thinking of recalling them from loan early or just wait till the end of the year I don't really know we do have obviously Di Natale the legend and this is how I want to line up I want to do a 4-3-3 uh, attacking but that does require a left back and a right back so I did go in the transfer market looking for some fullbacks and first fullback we found was uh, Trippier we put in a 3 million offer for him and then we also put in a 4 million offer for Erkin then we then sent Scuff it out on loan to Anderlecht because I do have a better rated keeper with who I'll probably use this season and uh, Burnley and Fenerbahce came back and both said that that's not good enough we're not accepting them transfer offers so I then go back in the market go offer 800 grand for Luke Garbett and a million for Paul Dummett because they're both young and uh, they're, they're decent players. We then get a contract offer uh, submitted to a Bakuna as our right back. And I also give out a contract offer to Luke Garbit as they did accept the uh, the money which we were going to pay for him. Paul Dummett, also his one million offer got accepted and we gave him a contract of nine grand a week important first team player. And finally, Leandro Bakuna accepted his contract and he is now our right back. As you can see, look at his stats, a very well-rounded player. He looks very good. And we have to offer Luke Garbett another player, another contract, even squad rotation. And we also have to offer Dummett a new contract with a bit more money. Then Di Natale comes up to us and says um, that he might retire at the end of this year, which is fine. He's like 37 years old. We then have to in, uh, offer Garbett a third contract, and then we have our first friendly against Hoffenheim, uh, which we do indeed draw one all, unfortunately, but it's pre-season friendly. Garbett does eventually, eventually accept his contract. Obviously, not the greatest, but he's a decent young fullback. And as you can see there, Paul Dummett, we couldn't get him in because there was too many players. We then go into our next friendly and win that friendly 2-0. And then we go into our third and final friendly, which is against Newcastle United. And we do indeed win it 1-0 thanks to a goal from Weidmer, Weidmer, I'm not quite sure how you say his name. Rodrigo Aguirre is also going on a season-long loan. And Pascal or Pasquale, um, is going to get sold to Empoli for 475 grand. The board allocated us 400 grand. And we do go into our first and last game of the episode which is in the Italian Cup, Udinese against Chiavri, or however you say it. And here is how we lined up. We have Kinesis in goal, who is the higher rated than, uh, than Scuffet. We've got Bakuna and Garbett making their debuts. We are running the 4-3-3 attacking formation. We've got Fernandez in the cam position. And here is how Chiavri uh, also lined up. They did also go over 4-3-3. Obviously not as attacking as uh, my formation, but still they they uh, they went 4-3-3 and had a decent team. And in the 8th minute, we did come close, Weidemir hitting the uh, side netting. And in the 20th minute, Garber, he bombs down the wing, he puts it in, and it was a, it was a pretty poor clearance by the defender. But somehow, they get away with it, they get a goal kick. Now in the second half, Di Natale does come on as a substitute. Um, because the team, it was performing well, but we just couldn't get any goals. And right here, we've got some good passing movement. Fernandez, good dribbling, and he should have really scored. But the deflection took the sting out of the shot, and the goalkeeper managed to uh, get the ball in his hands. Now here in the 51st minute, Di Natale again should have scored. Perhaps it's his old age, you never know. Um, but unfortunately, he did miss. Now in the 72nd minute, Badu, he runs through and does the weakest shot ever 
and it somehow goes in, goes past the keeper, and we are one nil up in the cup. And we were pretty much over all over the opposition in this game. They really didn't have a chance at all. I don't even know if they had a shot um, at this point in the in the game. But we do go one nil up thanks to Badu. Now in the ninety plus two minute, pretty much their first shot of the game, and they equalise. That was one of the most annoying and frustrating things because. Our defenders, I don't know what he was doing. He kind of jumped in front in front of the ball and Masucci managed to get the ball and score. However, in the 92nd minute, Di Natale, nice chip ball to Fernandez. Fernandez strikes it and it hits the post. We came so close to a second goal, but just didn't go for us. However, in the 110th minute, Di Natale, he runs through, he gets past the defender, finesses it into the corner, and the legend himself, Antonio Di Natale, Puts us in the lead, 2-1 with a very nice finish round the keeper. And that is his first goal for the season and his first goal in the cup. So we are 2-1 ahead and looks like we're going through at this point. And in the 120th minute, Di Natale, some nice work, passes it out wide to Weidma. Weidma into Kone and Kone just slots it past the keeper. And that makes it 3-1 in the 120th minute. And that sealed the game and that was... That was us going through the cut, uh, through to the next round, pretty much. Three one was the final score, and that is actually how it ended. Badu in the in normal time, and then Di Natale and Kone have two goals in extra time. Now Demizi goes to Milan for five hundred seventy five thousand, and we do get bad news of Badu being out for three weeks. But that is it for this episode. Here's the squad report, just if you want to have a look. A few players have gone up levels. But that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. And also, if you've got any constructive criticism for these episodes, make sure you also leave that in the comments below. But apart from that, that's it. Thank you for watching, and have a brilliant day.